Okay, we are learning how to write a function rule. Uh, we're going to call this x and y instead of k and p because it's annoying. So if a pattern doesn't immediately jump out at you, one of the things we talked about doing was checking your y's and see if it goes up by the same amount every time. Does it? Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm increasing by 8 every time. So as long as your scale is by 1, which it is, I'm going up by 1 every time in the x's, that, whatever you're going up by, I'm just going to put that in front of the x. And then I'm just going to add or subtract to adjust to make it work out. So if I do 8 times 1, that gets me to 8. What do I have to do f to get to 10? Add 2. Let's see if this holds true on the second line. 2 times 8 is 16. Is 16 plus 2 18? Oh, good sign. Check it all the way through. 24 plus 2 is 26. Yep. Yeah. 32 plus 2 34. And 40 plus 2, 42. There it is. Okay, so we got our equation. Let's try, um, I just want to jump to one where maybe it's not yeah let's do 13 actually let's do 12 and then we'll try 15 together so this one my scale is still going up by one okay so now if if I don't immediately recognize the pattern am I going up by the same amount every time over here yeah I'm going up by one every time so let me start off with that y equals one times x or so just x and then how do I get to here? What do I do with 1 to get to negative 1? What do I do with 2 to get to 0? Yep. Minus two. Minus 2. Perfect. So this time, I'm just taking my x value and subtracting 2. Just make sure that it works all the way through, and it does. OK, one more that's a little tougher, 15. <coughs> And at first glance, you might be thinking, oh, this isn't so bad. Look, I'm going up by 5 every time. And then we have this bonus one here, so let's just ignore that last line. But, uh, well, actually, the last two, because they're not. I'm going 2, 4, 6, 8, so I should have the next one be 10. So the last two we're just going to use for to check our function at the end. Looks like I'm going up by 5s. So maybe you tried that at first. You're like, oh, I'm going up by 5. So I'll do y equals 5x. And then how do I get, if that's a 5, that would be 10. I'd have to minus 5. Well, if you try that with the second line, it's not going to work. Right? 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 minus 5 is not 10. So we know this is not the right function. And the reason why it's not right is because I'm not, my scale's not 1 over here. It's going up by 2s. So every two, I'm going up five, which means that every one, I'm actually going up 2.5. So let's try that. If I start with 2.5 times x. All right, now let's try. So two times 2.5, oh, that is five. I don't have to add or subtract anything, and I'm already there. Four times 2.5. <gasps> It is 10. That's, that's my function right there. Let's see if it works with the ones down here. Uh, 12 times 2.5. Yep, that's 30. And 300 times 2.5, that is, is 750. So I know I have my correct function. So you always got to be checking the scale on both sides. So if this is not going up by ones, you have to adjust to figure out what that number is. That makes sense? Okay. Um, we might as well go over the ones, the remaining ones. How about 11? Did you guys get 11? Did you get 3x plus 6? Yeah. Okay, good. And this one's nice. It's going up by 1s. I notice I'm going up by 3s here. So I'm going to put a 3 right there. And then 3 times 1 is 3, so i got to add 6. And then you just check. Yep, it holds true for all the other ones. All right, and we did 12. We did not do 13, but hopefully you got 11x minus 2. 
Okay, that one's pretty similar. This side's going up by ones. This side, if you check, it's going up by 11. So we'd put 11x in there, but then I have to subtract two to get to where I need to be. Was that all right? Everybody got that one okay? And that was 13. 14, 12x minus one. Yeah, okay, good, for the same reasons. We're going up by 12 every time, and then we just had to minus one to get where we needed. We did 15, how is 16? Did you get two x at the end? Two times x? Yeah, this was another one that just kind of, you're not going up by ones over here, so your scale's really way off. So just try and, I noticed, I don't know, I just kind of noticed that the numbers were double. The more you do with these, the better you get and the quicker you recognize these patterns. So here's another pattern I want you to try. See if you can come up with this function rule. Oh, oh, sorry. As soon as you know it, tell it to me. Anybody got an idea? What did you say? I think it was right, whatever I heard. Negative 1x plus 10, she says. Let's see if it works. Negative x plus 10. So that'd be negative 1 plus 10 does get me 9. Uh, let's try 3. Negative 3 plus 10 does get me 7. Negative 4 plus 10 gets me 6. How about this one? Yeah, yeah negative negative 3 is 3. 3 plus 10 is 13. Yes. Did you get it by noticing you were going down by 1 every time? So you put a negative in there? So there's a one great way. So if you want to do the same method that we have been doing, this is going up by 1 until we get to this last one. So I'll just use that for ver verification later on. I'm going down by 1. So that's got to be a negative. And then if I go, uh, if I do that to get to 9, so if I'm at negative 1, how do I get to 9? I add 10. Another thing I was hoping maybe any someone would notice, what do you get if you add x and y together? You get 10 every time. So there's one more thing to look for if you're struggling and you can't find a pattern. See if you just add or multiply the two numbers together and see if you get the same thing every time. Every time, if I add straight across, I get 10. So another correct equation could just be x plus y equals 10. Aren't these two equations the exact same thing? They are, it's just rewritten, right? If I just minus this x to the other side, I get the same thing that's there. So they're both perfectly fine. Um, but that's just another thing to look for. If you can't find a pattern, try adding or multiplying or even subtracting the numbers just straight across and see if you can find a, a pattern that way. Okay.